Pivot now to some COVID news that's a little more positive. And yes, we actually do have some. Once again, it involves marijuana, okay? Which means it is time for another edition of Vice News. So snazzy. Love it. This Vice News story actually comes from Vice News itself. Fantastic. A new study suggests that CBD prevents COVID infection and they tested it out on actual patients. A team from the University of Chicago and the University of Louisville studied 1,200 people who were prescribed oral CBD to treat seizure related conditions. About 6% of those patients tested positive during the study compared to about 9% of people who were not taking CBD. The researchers also confirmed those results in a lab using human lung cells. Now, if this study sounds familiar, it's probably because you remember our story from last week on Oregon State University's hemp study. Scientists there found that a pair of cannabinoid acids, which are found in hemp, can block COVID from infecting human cells. Unlike the CBD study, this one was done only in a lab, not with actual patients. But the lead researcher told us that is the next step. And by the way, we do want to reiterate, he also told us this. People who are home, uh, sitting at home and they're wondering, is consuming cannabis in very common forms, including smoking it, um, give me these benefits? What's the answer? Well, definitely the benefit for preventing viral infection of cells must come from cannabinoid acids, which are heat sensitive and must not be smoked. Professor, before I ask you a follow-up question, you know that you just bummed out a lot of stoners, right? Well, that's not my job. He was so kind in that moment. We really appreciate it. By the way, again, sorry for the buzzkill stoners. Uh, we hate to do it. We just had to reiterate that. Okay, here's some more good COVID news. It's a nice change of pace on a Friday. At least this is good if you live in Washington. The state just launched its website where you can order free at home test kits. And yes, it's got a catchy little name. It's Say Yes COVID Test. Okay, we have a link to it up at KGW.com right now. Now this is separate, we should note, from the federal government's new program that lets you order four free tests to be shipped to your home. If you live in Washington, you can now order up to five extra tests from the state. You're just flush with tests at this point. Once you place an order, it'll take a week or two for those tests to arrive. And yes, they will only ship to Washington addresses. So Oregonians, we're so sorry. You're still out of luck. Now we asked the Oregon Health Authority if they are planning to set up a free test portal like this one, and their response was not at this time. Got it. They previously said they do not have the capacity to individually send out tests, but they are distributing millions of free tests to local health centers, to schools, shelters, and community organizations this month.